Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Average Bites. And uh, today we're having a big helping of baked ziti. Don't ask me what makes baked ziti baked ziti, but that's what the recipe said. People were kind of confused as to what it was, so <clears throat> I did put meat in mine. I've had ziti before, uh, I think it was Marie Callender's or whatever it is. And um, it was uh, meat free, but it was really good. So that's the only reason I knew what ZD was. So we got lots of onion and garlic in it. We got a beef and pork mixture and cheese. So it was really good. I tried it the other day. Um, I made it like the other morning. I got an orange pico tea here with some sugar and um, some double double creamer, it's called. So. Well, it's good, but super, super hot. I just made it. Um, it's kind of a rainy day here today, so... Well, it's supposed to start raining. It's kind of just gloomy right now, but... Anyways, I'm going to try this out in the microwave. I think it's quite hot. So... I did, like, a layer of cheese and meat in the middle, and then did it on top, too. Hmm. I like when the, um, the pasta on the sides gets a little um, crispy from baking it. Mm. I forgot it does need salt though. I didn't put any salt in it when I made it. Alright, I'm back. Just had to put a little bit of salt on it. I don't salt things very often when I cook it. Just because I'm afraid of over salting and ruining it. Mmm. Really good. So, yeah, we're on live last night for quite a while. Did an eight hour stream. Um, almost at 4,000 subs, so that's awesome. Thanks for subscribing. Um, we did some member giveaways last night, a bunch of them actually. So, thanks to those who joined and the ones that got gifted one. Mm. I'm um, a little over $2 Canadian, I forget now. It's less than $2 American to join. If you want to join the Bite Bunch, we're going to do um, um, member only streams. My speaker just turned off. That always happens when I'm doing a mukbang. I'm just going to talk for like 15 minutes. Oh, this is really good. I I make a lot of dishes like this with like pasta, cheese, some kind of sauce, meat. I just love them. And it, I can eat on this is the second huge serving and I could probably still get another four serving. So... Mmm, very good. I love other onion and garlic. I actually just bought some fresh garlic. I got this new, um, like, chopper machine that I got for Christmas. I just never got around opening. Um, but we usually have to chop the onion up. It worked amazing. So I'm thinking I could probably use it to... For the garlic as well. Yeah, I got a bunch of Italian seasonings, basil and stuff. Mmm. So good. I love Italian seasoning. So. I went to sleep around 8, 30, 9 o'clock last night. So I've been up since like 5 in the morning. It's 7, almost 8 in the morning. I know it's a weird time for me to eat this, but I don't want to go to waste. And I woke up really hungry. I've been so hungry the last couple of days. I don't get why. Um, the other day, I made this. Ate a serving of that. Then later in the day, I got fish and chips ordered in. 
and it was so good that I ordered it again. So I ate two fish and chip dinners. And last night, well, yesterday I went and got um, a Wendy's breakfast baconator, which, oh my gosh, those are so good. Um, and then, later in the day, I ordered in from this new burger place. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Got poutine and fries with it. They had pretty good fries. I still got some poutine in the fridge. I don't know if it's going to be good, but... I mean, poutine, your fries are already mushy, so it's not like it's going to be too gross. I got my lava lamps going over here. The one, the big one's still not going yet. It takes about four hours. The other one takes about an hour. I don't know if you can see the little one there, too. I love the big one. I want to get another one. I love the red, the red too. Ah, oh. so... Yeah, so I ordered that, and that was good. Then I ended up eating, like, a whole bag of uh, those crispy mini, huh, what are they, rice cracker things. The buttered popcorn ones are amazing. So, yeah. And then somehow I woke up hungry, so I don't know. But, the last, like, week or so, I really haven't had an appetite, so I haven't been eating very much, so. I guess it's caught up with me. Mm. My eyes are a little bit bigger than my stomach on this, though. I'm trying to get full already. Um, yeah, you can see all the garlic in there. I put a ton of garlic. And people kept telling me, you know, don't get that jarred garlic. It doesn't work as good. It doesn't. Um, so I got fresh garlic. So we're going to start using fresh garlic. I love the smell of onions and garlic cooking together. Mm. I put that in so many recipes. Mm. It's really good. I'll try to post a link below. It called for cream cheese as well, which would have made it way better. And Parmesan cheese, but it's just... I tried to make it a little less, ex or a little less expensive. And you don't have to add meat if you don't want to. So I'll try to post a recipe. Just so you can get an idea. I used a uh, penne pasta. I'm pretty sure it said to use um, ziti pasta, but I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it. I couldn't see it at the store. I don't know what that is, what they use normally. But this pasta is very similar to the one I had. And the Marie Collenders, or calendars, however you say that. And it's a really good ziti as well. Mm. It's having up for a few hours. It's warm. It's already 60 degrees. It was a warm night. It's had the windows all wide open all night. Um, slept really good. I did take a sleeping pill, so. I stopped taking them for a while because I wasn't needing them, but I'm needing them again. And a lot of that's probably just not having a proper sleep schedule and, you know, just no routine right now, really. So, so another update on, you know, stuff going on. Um, Monday, tomorrow. I have a meeting with my work benefit administrator. Um, so I'm off on leave, you know, working on my mental health and um, sobriety. So, um, so I've got to update with her tomorrow to see how things are going. Um, I had an update the other day with the addiction clinic, and we're, I started a different medication. No side effects. I took it earlier. I haven't noticed no side effects, but it, it does help with anxiety. But I haven't had anxiety. Which is good. I can't stand anxiety. Anyone who has it knows what it's like. It makes you very irritable and 
your body constantly is like in a state of emergency for no reason. So, we're trying out that new medication. I'm supposed to take it three times a day. I've only taken it once yesterday and then took it once today. So, I'm going to try to do it three times today. And then Thursday, I'm appointing with my main doctor as an update. And, hang on, I'm going to blow my nose as usual. Yeah, so then Thursday I have um, an appointment with my main doctor, see how things are going, um, and yeah, I guess we'll kind of go from there. Um, I keep ask, I asked twice to get referred for counselors to call me, and they haven't called, and it's been a week, so I think I'm just going to go upon myself and find a place, because um, I need to get started on that. I mean, medications are just a, a band-aid right now for me. Um, it's not really fixing the problem, so I need to do the counseling and, you know, I think I, need, I should do therapy, so I'm going to ask about that. You know, I don't really know what I would talk about, but there's some re there's something I'm trying to fill with, you know, drinking, so. And um, when I talked to the addiction counselor, she said, you know, we're, we drink to um, have a sense of belonging. It gives you a feeling of belonging and stuff or whatever. She was a, an ex addict as well, so. Anyway, just a little update with that. But overall, I'm doing good. My mental health's been good, um, better. Um, so yeah, that's good. I'm looking forward to getting back to work. I'm not sure if it's gonna be, I might be going back to work next Sunday night um because my benefits have only been approved till the third so i might be going back on the fifth because i can't afford to be off if i'm not getting the benefit even with that it's only half of my salary so i don't think there's really any benefit of me being off anymore if this medication works for me then that'll be good and i can just do the counseling is um you know, in my spare time when I'm not working. I will be working quite a lot because it's a busy time of year. I'll probably be working late during the week. And definitely Saturday is mandated. By the time I've been there, it was only around Christmas time where we didn't have mandated overtime, so. But if you get your overtime done during the week, you won't be mandated Saturday, but you can still sign up. You can even sign up for Sunday. And it's not a hard job. I really like the job. I'm really lucky to have a good job, like, you know, that's allowing me to get help without losing my job, so. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back. I've seen some of the people I used to talk to, and I do kind of have like first day jitters again. It feels like I'm starting a new job. And, but I think it's going to be like worse than even starting a new job because everyone's going to be wondering where I was. Which, yeah. You know, say medical leave. That's what it is, so. Oh man, full. So, yeah. I think that's what all the update today. Probably go live. Well, I mean, that's not surprising, right? Probably do it members only live because we got a, quite a few members. I think we've got probably at least 50 members now, so. But don't worry, I won't do them all the time. If people can't afford to be a member or don't want to be a member, it won't always be members only. Maybe just once or twice a week for like an hour or two and then open the chat back up. Because being a member, there has to be some perks, so members only live streams would be a perk, so. As well as priority um, replying to comments, I call, I'll comment um, back to members first. Um, so yeah, I don't think I can finish this a little bit here. I'm not gonna push it. Oh, I got the hiccups already. Hi Twix, you wanna come say hi? Hi, baby. It's so funny when I'm getting the mukbang table and the chair set up. They're just they're all scurrying around, like wondering what's going on. They're so interested in what I'm doing. Hi, baby. Licking my fingers. 
You want to go say hi? Where's Omar's back there on the couch? I don't think you can see her over the chair, my chair, but or is it this way? No. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching this mukbang. You can go check out the live if you want. I made it the other day. I'll try to put a link in the description for that as well as the recipe. Um, it's a long video, so you'll probably want to skim through the good parts. Um, and it took quite a while to bake in the oven before it was getting nice and hot again. So, yeah, I cooked the pasta really well. You know, it's nice. It cooked a bit more in the oven, so it was, like, perfect. Oh, we got a nice chunk of cheese here, and I need that. I think we could force down a big chunk of cheese. Mm. Mm. The top is so good. It's got the cheese and lots of seasoning. Hi, Twix. What are you doing, buddy? But anyways, I'm going to finish up my tea, and I'm still catching up on YouTube. I'm still quite behind on stuff that I like to watch, so... Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.